<laughs> right. Hello. Hey. I'm Ben. I'm Jimmy. And we are here at Gordon Smith with these, which are two of the new Gatsby models. Yes. Which are great. If you'll pardon <laughs> the expression. Um, it's the yes, first. They are. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first production uh, kind of production run offset guitar that GS have done, certainly for a long time, if ever at all. And it's a new uh, it's a new design for the for the range, and it's it's the first time we're playing them today, and mm. they are really fun. So um, it's obviously it's an offset body design. It's got this contouring around the top. They've got body contouring at the back, which is great. This little cutaway That's behind really the neck, nice actually, isn't it? So for access so there, they've all got a maple neck with a maple board. Uh, bodies, the solid colours of which there are five. This is Rockingham. That's Chroma. Chroma. Then we've got the vintage white, jet black, and Merlot. And all of the solid colours are a solid poplar body. But the two trans finishes you can see, which is the tobacco burst there, and this, which is slightly more subtle, but it's called Real Ale. Um, that's a, those are Swamp Ash bodies. Uh, but apart from that, the guitars have all got the same, the same fittings, the same hardware, um, yeah. and everything. So if we start down this end and kind of work our way up towards the, the headstock. Okay. This tremolo system is a revelation. It's called an HK41. Um, <laughs> that might mean something to somebody. Not, not much to me. All I do know is that it stays in tune when you Which use it. <laughs> Which doesn't sound like it should be a big deal. <laughs> but it really, it's really good. It's, it's, a, it's a Jaguar kind of jazz master style trim. Um, but it's really reliable. We've been given given them quite a lot of abuse. We have, yeah, today. And they just keep returning to pitch. They've also got this little slidey switch here so that if you do want to lock it off, you can, which is useful. It does mean that you need to retune when you do it, but it does completely, you know. So that shuts the, shuts the whole thing off? Yeah, just, just locks the whole trim down. Wow, that's Which cool. is great. Um, next, kind of next along the line, you've got a brass uh, roller bridge, which is great. I guess that helps the trim stay in tune. Mm -hmm. And then we move on to these. Um, the Gordon Smith wind all their own pickups. Um, and this is their home wound P90. It sounds awesome. Yeah. It sounds super cool. Um, I mean, we have, we've each got guitars, different guitars to these, which have got the Gordon Smith P90s in. Yeah. We've used them for the last couple of years. They're really good. They cut through anything. <laughs> They're um, really, really uh, dynamic and uh, really responsive to your, where you pick and like how hard you pick and all that kind of stuff, which is, which is really cool. It is, yeah, you can get, because the ones that we play, we've just got one, a single bridge P90, but you can get a huge variety of tones just by moving around as if mm. you're playing an acoustic guitar almost. Yeah. It's a similar kind of thing. Simplifies things, doesn't it? It does, yeah, <laughs> but there's a pair of them, they're great. Um, yeah, maple neck, medium jumbo frets, Brass nut, which is kind of Gordon Smith's thing, mm -hmm. which I know some people are skeptical about, but it, these things will ring for days and days, which is great. Uh, we've got the Goto tuners. They're Goto tuners. They mm -hmm. stay in tune. That's what you want from a Goto tuner, from any tuner, really. But the most, in, well, I mean, the best thing about them is they're just so fun. <laughs> they have super fun to <laughs> They're set up impeccably as well. The fretwork is stunning. Yeah, I mean the fretwork, the Gordon Smith fretwork is always really good. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure what the radius on the board is. It's a 25 and a half inch scale length though, so it's kind of standard Fender style scale length. Mm -hmm. They're really comfortable to play. We should probably go through each individual sound. Yeah, the pickups. The pickups, I'll tell you what. So why don't, uh, why don't I switch to, should I switch to a trans finish and we can compare okay. the different body woods? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Now I'm holding one of the Swamp Ash. This is the real ale finish, which in the right light... It's like a you pint can, of mild. I was going to say, you can really see the grain come through. I kind of like it. It's, it's quite a... To me, this is a very 70s style finish, which is why I like it, yeah. I think. Um, okay. But it's great. We thought we'd compare the different... Well, the same pickups, basically, but same in different guitars, different, in different, different bodies. Different wood, yeah. So do you want to start off with... The, so Jimmy's playing the Poplar. Mm -hmm.
So, I mean, there's a very subtle difference. Yeah. I would say. We should mention we've set our amps exactly the same. That's same true. Amp, we're, same yeah. settings. We're but both playing through uh, Hempstead Artist RT, um, which, yeah, we've set them the same. So To try and make it a fair test. That's right. I mean, <laughs> the trouble is I'm having so much fun playing all of them, trying to, trying to be uh, actually, you know, could <laughs> have, a, have, a, have a very sensible scientific opinion on the differences is hard because you pick them up and they're just so much fun. Yeah. But, um, okay, so I'll, go, I'll, I'll do my bridge pickup next, all right? Okay. So here we are, the bridge pickup, this is the Swamp Ash body. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 there is a very, there's a very subtle difference, I think. Maybe we should try it on some clean stuff. Yeah. And, um, what about the both pickups? Both yeah. pickups together, yeah, yeah, go for it, go on. so much time for this this trim <laughs> system <laughs> i need to and I, I really yeah because I, I associate tremolos with um the guitars that i've played with trems in the past which generally have it's generally a pain yeah having a tremolo but this oh. I do have a Floyd Rose guitar at home, and this stays in tune way better than Floyd Rose. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, that's, I think that's the thing with, they're such, um, they are fun, and they're really inspiring guitars to play. Um, because it's, I think it's the kind of, the first really new design that Gordon Smith had brought out for a while, and they've really, thought everything through nicely. Like it just, it's very comfortable to play. This kind of uh, contoured edge at the top means that it's, it just everything is comfortable. This, the, the belly cut, this cut around the back there for the access up to the high frets, which we spoke about before. So cool. This cut here, I mean, all of it, just, you kind yeah. of wrap yourself around it. Yeah, you can uh, sit here all day. Yeah. Well, we have. I mean. We have sat here all day <laughs> playing them and it's been a huge amount of fun. So these are available now. Um, these, the, the poplar body, so all the solid colours are available for twelve nine nine. The Swamp Ash body, which is the, the trans finish on this real ale and the tobacco bursts, um, is available for thirteen nine nine. So it's just a hundred pounds difference for the different bodywoods. But as with all Gordon Smith guitars, there is the option for various upgrades and any kind of customization you want. Um, Within like reason. Your initials on the 12th fret, for instance. Your initials on the 12th fret, which we have on our hands. Um, yeah, so this is it. This is the Gordon Smith Gatsby. This first run, I've got a special neck plate as well, which does say launch edition on the back. Oh. I have a feeling the launch editions are not going to stick around for long because I think all of the ones in this room, plus a whole bunch of other orders, are already sold. Mm. Um, which is a shame because we wanted to steal at least four of them. <laughs> So there we go, that's the Gordon Smith Gatsby. It's available now. Um, you can order it on the website and um, we're gonna play out with some, some more, more bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. 